welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you what my nine month old baby eats in a day. So my second baby, Scarlett, that's her name, she just turned nine months a couple days ago, and we have basically now been really introducing finger foods. Everything we make her is from scratch, and with the exception of you know the occasional Cheerio here and there, I like to try and make even little finger foods from scratch. So I have two new recipes for today's video for your baby that are super easy. All of the meals in this video don't take a long time. They're perfect for busy moms, and I know you guys are gonna like them. So anyways, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new I make videos every single week on motherhood and lifestyle topics hit the bell notification if you guys want to be alerted when a new video comes out like this video if you like it and let's go ahead and get on with breakfast first thing that I am making for Scarlett is a egg banana pancake so I've actually been making these ever since my firstborn Annabelle turned around six months old and it's honestly both of the girls favorite things to eat for breakfast it's very healthy it's packed with protein and it honestly just takes a couple minutes to make and I do make these for my toddler as well but let's be honest she's had a taste of the good life aka regular pancakes and it's hard for her to go back but these are great for babies and toddlers so what you do is you take a very ripe banana I usually just take half and she doesn't eat the whole thing um, so I just save the rest put it in the refrigerator give it to her tomorrow I crack an egg in the bowl and I also put in just a couple sprinkles of cinnamon. I mix that all around, fry it in a pan with coconut oil or butter, and I'll feed that to her for breakfast. So just a note about this is that if you are a new mom and you're not fully aware about like baby's constipation. I know this is kind of TMI, but I just feel like I have to tell you this. I honestly do not feed this to Scarlett every single day of the week. I really only give it to her probably once or twice a week just because bananas, at least for my children and what I've read online, they can be constipating. So you do have to be careful. And I also give her yogurt probably once or twice a week. Those kinds of foods like yogurt and banana can tend to back up their little digestive system. So definitely keep that in mind and don't feed this to them every day of the week, even if you make a bunch. Um, you can also freeze it and then reheat it up, but normally I don't do that just because someone in our house will eat the rest of the batter. So breakfast is now over and they're actually playing at the park, but I wanted to share with you guys something that's a little, I mean, it's kind of related to this video and it's basically our new washable rug. So we actually got a rug recently for the living room. You guys will have seen that on my Insta stories and I ended up returning it just because it didn't fit the vibe and you know, none of you guys really liked it <laughs> considering the poll that I put up. But but I got another one for the dining room um, and I am absolutely obsessed. So this rug is a washable rug and I thought it would be perfect to talk about in today's video just because if you have small children, especially if you're starting to give finger foods to your baby, it can really just get smushed in your carpet or whatever, you know, wherever there is a surface, there's going to be food on the ground because they like to throw it everywhere. So I have tested out this washable rug. Um, it looks like just a regular rug. You wouldn't even know, but I've tested it out for the last week and I've gotten pretty much everything out of it. There's been like smushed blueberries and raspberries. Anyways, let me show you. Okay. So I'm just cleaning up from breakfast. As you can see, it's definitely messy and there is food on the ground, but this is our rug from Ruggable and I seriously am so obsessed with it. Um, I'm going to vacuum up like all the crumbs and everything so you guys can see that it comes off really nicely. So yeah, I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. So for lunch, Scarlett is going to be eating something that I've never tried before and they're called broccoli cheddar bites. So this is a super easy recipe and honestly, after making it, I would eat these on the reg. They are so yummy. You basically just steam a bunch of finely cut broccoli and then you add it in a bowl, cheddar cheese, an egg, some breadcrumbs. I'll leave all of the directions down below. And it is super easy to make these. You pop them in the oven and then the baby can actually hold them themselves. So this is more of like a baby led weaning approach and you don't have to do this hundred percent. If you are uncomfortable with baby led weaning, I was definitely very uncomfortable with my first child and now I've gravitated more towards it, which I never thought I would say. But if you are uncomfortable with it, you can blend these or you can chop them up into little tiny pieces, which I kind of do a mixture of both. Sometimes she'll hold it if the broccoli pieces are fine enough chopped and then other times I'll just chop them up because she eats a lot more that way I find. And anyways, you bake them in the oven and they come out 10 minutes later, super yummy. There's melted cheese inside. They also get some protein from egg and they also eat their vegetables and it's super good. My toddler actually ate this as well and it's a really good treat. While Scarlett was waiting, I also gave her some black beans, a little piece of toast to munch on, and some cheese and corn. 
So for snack today, I usually make my girls pretty much the same thing just because it's so much easier that way. So today for their snack, we actually made something in my new Instant Pot, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. I feel like I'm the last person in the world to get an Instant Pot. I don't know why it took me so long, but it is absolutely life-changing. It makes dinners and lunches and anything in literally eight minutes. It's Seriously, witchcraft. I don't understand how it works, but it's amazing. So today we're making applesauce and I ended up actually making this with my toddler just because it's like a fun activity to do. What you do is you basically peel eight apples and this takes forever unless you have an apple peeler, which I don't. And you put them in the instant pot for about eight minutes with some lemon, cinnamon, and also some water. And then eight minutes later, it comes out perfectly steamed and mushy. And I like to blend it in a blender. I'm actually just using a baby bullet, but you can use any blender. This is just the easiest one I had on hand you add some extra cinnamon to it and that is what it looks like so I actually put some in the freezer to freeze for later and then I put a big one in the refrigerator so we can eat throughout the week as you can tell Scarlett was just waking up from her nap right before dinner and for dinner today she just had some finger food of what we had so we actually had chicken taco bowls I made them in the instant pot so she had some avocado some chicken some peas and also some cheddar cheese and she absolutely loved it she eats pretty much whatever we eat and I also fed her some of the applesauce along the side because she totally missed her snack because she was napping I also give her six to eight ounces of water a day in her little sippy cup, which she loves. Honestly, most of the time she just spits it out after she drinks it, it's so bad because I didn't mention this, but she is breastfed multiple times a day, probably five to seven times throughout the entire day. So sometimes she's not hungry because she gets a lot of breast milk and that's totally fine. Um, but that's pretty much it for her meals for today. So that is pretty much it for today's video. Don't forget to like this video if you like it and subscribe if you're new. I will also go ahead and put all of the recipes down in the description box along with like the rug and the high chair and everything that I mentioned and also just like the feeding contraptions that we use. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.